Hi guys, you look at this video because you're interested in meditation. Most meditation teachers and yoga teachers in the West have no clue about how to analyze if the pupil is really entering in meditation or is just sitting with eyes closed and internally t counting the time or preparing uh, a shopping list or whatever associations rise. There is a way, however, to find out whether your meditation is correct. And we're going to show you what that way is into the inner light in this video and in more in our playlist around the phenomena called phosphenes. I'm quite interested to hear from you what you think. Okay, so here we go about light tunnels and more strange light phenomena with your eyes closed. We will follow up on some videos we already made. And the question is, if you're really sinking in meditation, what kind of light phenomena do you see? What does that mean? And what levels we have? First of all, I show you here my own experiences when I start meditation. I will quickly see a lot of phenomena I just described, and it can be as crazy as this one, like faces with multiple eyes, and the ones under you who know something about angels realize that this is also a typical angel with all these eyes. So what do the Buddhistic meditation masters say about light phenomena? There is ancient knowledge about the visual effects of meditation. In a specific tradition of the Tibetan Buddhism, they define three stages of meditation. And uh, one of this stage is the calm abiding state where you just start meditating, you close your eyes, and the first you see is simple light patterns, like multicolored gems and little, little stars. Then if you uh, sink deeper in the meditation, insights start to develop, and you're going to see uh, intrinsic patterns of fractals, mosaics, kaleidoscopic uh, uh, lights, and yantras and mandalas. And in the highest realization, of the meditation, you can see figures of Christ, Bodhisattvas, Buddhas, and all. So let's start with the initial phase. You close your eyes, you sit, you just look and watch, and you see little blobs of light, white lights, or colored lights. They change quite quickly. There can be just a few, there can be a lot of more, and they can cluster into round shapes and if they start clustering into round shapes, you might also see networks of slightly blue uh, grids. And if the points are clustering into circles, then very quickly you will see starting emerging tunnels like spirals, as if you enter a tunnel and everywhere you might see um, jewel, jewelic uh, kind of crazy colorful jewels uh, into uh, really beautiful mandalas like this one. And this all morphs, this all um, changes in shape and color, sometimes so quickly that you have no clue. Here are just a couple of examples, the artificial intelligence things that we see th this, and I can affirm this is kind of what you see. Um, and then in the last stage, you might see light colored bodhisattvas or tantric gods or Jesus Christ or a light being from afar or an angelic figure with wings. All these uh, figures, like here you see an, an angel, they come out of this tunnel, they come towards you and they evaporate and they morph again into other shapes. And sometimes even crazy things happen, like black and white movies of cartoons, like this, little black and white guys running around, you have no clue what this means. Here are the six types you can see. The four first types are classical types, light phenomena, yantras and mandalas, deities, figures. And in the highest level, you see whole landscapes, landscapes with flowers, and, and, and really beautiful paradises, but you can all see, also see cartoons and very, very strange phenomena. So mm, there are 
many ways you can analyze whether you are on the correct track. If you see light phenomena that are good signs, you can see the light of Christ. There are four uh, different steps linked to the progression of your meditation. And this is all known in the ancient Buddhistic literature. So don't worry, this is normal. These are good signs. The more you see, the better. But it's not something to strive for. It's a byproduct, it's a side effect of the intensity of your dedication for med meditation. So at the seventh level, you can start interacting with the divine world and interacting with the divine beings. And you can also start hearing voices from the void, sometimes with your own voice, sometimes in another voice. Don't get startled by this. It is all a sign that you're on the correct track.